Hello everyone and welcome back to Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Last night we started Maximilian's chapter and we watched as he uh, started exploring his forefather's mansion before, end uh, before ending up with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in his hands and now he's wishing he never, he never had found the, the blasted tomb because everything has gone to hell. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Is it? Artist from Kast, the servant is clearly flustered. Skittishly, he turns about, looking for something that might, have, that might have brushed past his leg, shrieking and uttering as though some hideous creature is nearby. Oh, my friend, we have no idea how close they are. Luckily for uh, Maximilian, it seems that not all of his servants are taken over by bone thieves. However, quite a number of them are. There's only one left to check. The one in the toilet. And he is the bone thief in disguise. And that's taken care of. So now we can examine what the letter said. Look to the light. Mm. Did you spy that little thing there on the left? Max spies an envelope that has fallen behind the pedestal. Fallen, perhaps, or been hidden there. Despite his excitement at this discovery, Max senses something odd about it. A sense of evil. No, no. No end to them. Ah. But it's no matter. Now we have an envelope. What does it say? A paper envelope sealed with a globe of melted wax. An odd rune is pressed into the wax. There appears to be something heavy inside. Yes, let's open it and see. Inside the envelope is a letter addressed to one of Max's father's aides. Ah, basement key. A small antiquated key, somewhat rusted by the ravages of time. This is the key to the basement of the Roybus mansion. And now for the letter. The letter, written in a scrawling hand, reads, Dear friend, as I expected, the beasts are drawing closer to our discovery. They want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I have taken steps to ensure that their ilk will not touch the key in this envelope, should you fall prey to their claws. The envelope containing the basement key has been sealed with a corrosive magic. If one not aligned to us tries to handle it, it will be released inflicting pain, suffering and a grievous blow to their sanity, should they have any left. Be swift with your task. Aaron Roybus. All right. Now we have the basement key, but something is missing. Oh dear, this wasn't like this before. A hellish depiction of some monstrous landscape. A blood-colored sky hangs over a dementedly surreal land in which flayed skins flap in an acidic breeze. What mind could have conceived this? What mind indeed. Time to enchant our weapons once again. This isn't normal. This isn't normal at all. But that beast. This is a room. Oh no, can we load? Damn. No, no. And down it goes. Excellent. We now have the rune of Shalotath in our possession. Wait. 
This isn't right. This isn't right at all. Let's get back, shall we? This isn't really happening. Indeed, Maxim, it isn't. Or is it? All right. Time to uh, change up a little bit of our spells a little bit. Enchant item. We will assign it with Shelotas alignment. And now it's time to uh, assign Reveal Invisible. Let's do this. door is locked, but we have the key. As you can see, the, uh, the area now has a green hue. Rather, the screen has a green hue due to the... Uh, oh, no. Due to the... Uh, Reveal invisible cast with the green alignment. Should recover our health a little bit. Nah, no. This is why you don't move when you cast spells. Alright, now. The basement. Full of tools. And atop a stack of boxes lies a stone tablet etched with weird carvings. Some more flintlock pistol ammunition. Anything else? Hmm. Doesn't look like it, and the, rev the in reveal invisible spell has run out. A scroll of paper rests in the rim of the well by the wall. Damage field. Hmm? Let's see what it does. A tattered scroll lined with curious writing and diagrams. It reads, This incantation exerts a force of mystical power within the confines of its rooms. Nothing may enter till it is dispelled. Hmm. Now what is this? A rusted pump stands by the well. Its handle appears to be missing. Well, we can remedy that. started hallucinating really, really badly. Really badly. And another magical room. And now, the components are complete. We have all the necessary components to cast damage field. It will be useful pretty soon. However, where have we ended up? Are these the, uh, the foundations of the house? Sweet Jesus. Max is incredulous at the sight. A desolate ruin of a fantastic city, built into a huge, naturally formed cave. Jutting spires and looming buildings poke through the dense fog. Light ebbs through the city, crackling in the wake of the energy spilling from a light source, held aloft by unseen forces. energy field. All right. Time to, uh, time to reload our pistols. And enchant them. And 
Before delving deeper, because no one will be pleased where we're going. Abomination, and it must be killed. He tries casting spells to fight you. He doesn't attack up close, but it's quite weak. souls and fevered thoughts, wreaking a fetter and a game, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! It appears that Maximilian did not end well. What he lived through shattered his mind, and he ended up in a sanitarium for the rest of his days. <sighs> oh well. I think we will stop here for now. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And share, if you please. Push that bell button as well. And I hope to see you next time in eternal darkness. Till then, take care.